Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Askins, Code Primate, and welcome back to another Lumber Tycoon 2 video. Before we do anything, like, comment, subscribe. I'm calling it out right now at the very beginning so you don't forget because there's a lot of people who still can't subscribe or don't subscribe or whatever the case may be. And I know what the thumbnail says. And yes, that's exactly what we're going to be talking about. All right. There are no anime girls in here. There's no pretty girls, whatever, whatever I'm going to do for the thumbnail, because that's going to be later on. I'm going to talk about that because I've been, uh, I've been talking with Jack and he says that my thumbnails aren't sexy enough or they're not attractive enough or pretty enough. And I don't think there's anything wrong with my normal thumbnails. So for this video, as a test, as a testament to um, the clickbait titles and the clickbait thumbnails, I'm absolutely going to do something way out of character and do something for the thumbnail. So if you clicked on this video and the thumbnail worked, thank you. All right, stay, stay, please stay here. Watch the video. It's not going to be that long. And I'm, I'm just going to talk about how I feel about clickbait. All right. And it's really prevalent. I mean, it's, it's all over the place. In fact, YouTube, um, they encourage you to do, oh no, insufficient funds. You gotta be kidding me. How much, how much do I need? No, I don't want to buy extra. Uh, 380, I'm at 259. That's not hard. That's not hard. We can, we got that. Hold on. Do we have, uh, do we have any ice wood over here? We don't, but you know what we do have? We got some palms. We can absolutely go sell off some palm wood and get that. So here's the thing. When it comes to the, the click throughs, okay? The one thing that determines anybody else getting the click, the the attraction, the, hey, I think I might want to watch that, is the thumbnail. And there's been multitudes of, of people who um, go through and check out a video just because of the thumbnail. And the worst thing, the thing that I hate the most is when the thumbnail has nothing to do with the actual video. When you are fooled into clicking a video. And that's why, that's why I don't clickbait. That's why I don't do the attractive uh, things. And I'm not offended by it because, I mean, it's been said before, but it just, it feels like that's what you gotta do nowadays. You've gotta put some kind of uh, click, some kind of catch onto your video or it's just not gonna get the clicks. People aren't gonna click on your video because you're a good guy. People aren't gonna click on your video because you make good content or, or you make honest content. Honesty will never get you ahead inside YouTube. No offense, okay? But I gotta be honest. I know it's not gonna happen, and you guys know it's not gonna happen. In fact, you know what you're clicking on. You know for a fact that that thumbnail might not be what you're expecting. Uh, it, the ones where they're obviously Photoshopped and it's completely fake, those, those are the ones that just like, oh, really? The ones that make you like kind of cringe a little bit. The one kind of like I did for this video, because I'm totally going to do it. I'm, I'm going to make some kind of horrendous violation. Like, it's not going to be demonetized or anything, but it's definitely going to be different and out of the ordinary. People are going to be clicking on this video left and right, and I, I feel sorry for you if you did click on this video just because of the thumbnail, but that's what I'm talking about, is I'm talking about the thumbnail clicks and the, uh, what happens to them. What's crazy is the music video ones. Like the, the ones where it's a a song release. <clears throat> you know, song releases, they're three to five minutes long and they get millions upon millions of clicks and songs. It's just, it's amazing to me. Hold on, I think I got Jack messaging me. Might be Jack, could be somebody else. Let's see who this is. It's my dad. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, Dad. Very inappropriate. Inappropriate. <laughs> uh, I love you, Dad. I, I think you're awesome. I, I wonder if he knew th knew that I was like recording right now, or if that was just intentional. 
he's probably watching my Roblox profile like, there he is, he's online, I'm gonna send him something that's gonna make him giggle. Uh, do, your, do your parents ever do that? Like, do they send you social media links and stuff like that that you might not click on right away, but you'll go back later and be like, why did you send that to me? Really? All right, can I get a hashtag skills inside uh, the comments, please? That was, that was some skills, just saying. Skills. First try. I am on top of my game tonight. <gasps> no, stop. Whoa, jeez. Code, that was close, dude. Seriously, that, that right there, that would probably be my thumbnail, normally. That's, that's what I would do for a normal thumbnail. But we're gonna test this. We're gonna we're gonna see how many different clicks. Maybe it's just gonna be tons of clickbait thumbnails from now on. Who knows? We'll we'll see. Like maybe maybe I just need to join that that race. Maybe it, it's time. Uh, oh, and for everybody that said code such a troll on the last one, you're right. You're right. I mean, but I was still honest. I was honest about my trollery. It's not like I, I didn't halfway through the, the video say, Hey, uh, by the way, it's not real. I made my own sound and then clicked the sound like multiple times. And everybody was like trying to debunk it. Like, did you see his mouse move off? Did you see his mouse? He wasn't, it wasn't real. <laughs> if you didn't get to see that video, I highly encourage you to go check out the last video. It was uh, released yesterday, 6 a.m. Central Time. I changed my times. Um, I've changed the call out for the subscribing. That's that's at the the beginning of the videos, no longer at the end. Um, you know, and we are doing two releases. We're we're doing Subnautica series, and we're doing this. Did you guys know I was playing Subnautica? By the way, did you know that the um, the release of Subnautica Below Zero is coming out soon? In fact, I got an invite to go watch their uh, their live stream. I think it's on Friday. Hold on, let's go look at it. Unknown Worlds, Subnautica Below Zero launch stream. Uh, you are invited to the launch stream below. Join us at on Friday, May 14th at 5 p.m. UTC to celebrate the launch of Subnautica Below Zero on Steam. Are you are cordially invited to the pre-release of the awesome game called Subnautica. Please, RSVP as soon as possible. Yours truly, Unknown Worlds. I'm just kidding. It's never sent to me like that. It's a, it's always like mass mailers and stuff. Oh, that's gonna drop off a little bitty pieces. And, oh no, that's fine. That's fine. What am I doing? Wait, what am I doing? We never chop this up here. We always toss it down and pick it up later, don't we? Jeez, what are you doing, Code? Seriously. <laughs> Because we, we got to get back across. I forgot to get bring a second piece of uh, dynamite. That's not good. Anyhow, the reason I'm coming over here is because we need to fill in the plots and we need to pick up the, uh, the slack because I have not been keeping up with the money, which is why I lost a truck. I could not purchase a truck right then. Oh, goodness. What are you? Okay, you know what? We'll just, we're just going to take you to the edge. I'm on the edge. Of lonely. Is it on the edge of lonely? I don't know. How's that song go? Drink. Wee. By the way, my uh, my kids aren't actually in bed yet. It's like seriously, they just went to bed. Uh, Hope is still awake. And normally, normally I would wait until both my children are in bed. But tonight, I'm like, you know what? I can't wait on you guys anymore. I'm, I'm just, I'm so done. I am done with trying to get you in bed at a certain time because it never happens. You don't listen to me. I'm just going to go and record. I'm going to do my thing. So I'm not waiting until 3 o'clock in the morning to actually get things uploaded and, and done. And you're just going to have to deal with not having dad tuck you in at night. You know? And that sucks. Oh, that was so hard. But I, I am. I am ready to keep moving. I'm excited. It's it's an exciting time because my kids are growing up. I'm getting older. Insurance is going down. You know, good things happen when you reach older ages. I think 25 is the the last insurance reduction. As long as you don't have any like accidents or anything. 
Um, of course, this could be adult talk. That's that's like stuff that kids don't usually have to worry about. Uh, for those of you who are in your teens and you're uh, you're about to get up there, 15, 16 years old, what are you gonna do for a car? Do you guys have plans? Do you, do you have uh, do you have somebody who's going to go in halfsies with you? Because I think that's what we're going to do for my kids. Like we'll pay half of whatever car they want to purchase. Ex with the exception of like a Tesla, they're, they're not getting Teslas. There's no way they're getting Teslas. Unless Elon Musk like becomes my bestest friend or something like that and then gives us some Teslas. And that That's a very, you know, uh, narrow possibility. <clears throat> Just saying. Oh, by the way, didn't he like announce that he had had Asperger's before Saturday Night Live? Or was that, that like the live announcement? Because I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know that he had not announced it before. And everybody was making like a really big deal of it. I mean, I, I kind of figured, is that bad that I assumed that he had Asperger's or, or some kind of, I don't want to say special needs because it's not special needs. It's a uniqueness, a, a unique brain, you know, that's, that's what I can't get over is how they call ADHD, Asperger's, all these things. They're like, oh, that's a mental illness. No, it's not. It's a, it's a neural, what did they call it? Neurological derivative diversion difference. It's a difference. You know, we're just wired differently. That's all. <clears throat> Boop, 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 boop. A lot of people are like, he he writes weird things. I'm like, no, it's pretty normal what he's writing on uh, on Twitter and stuff. <laughs> Everybody else is like, really? I thought I thought it was weird. I'm like, he's not weird. He's a brilliant genius who's kind of introvert, but definitely has some extrovert uh, properties to him. You know. <sighs> I love how he made the reference of, of what if life is really just a teenage teenager playing a video game simulation. <laughs> and I loved how he said, uh, uh, I can run in human in in emulator mode. <gasps> oh man. Okay, Elon. Very, it's very true, you know? When you do have Asperger's, ADHD, autism, whatever the case may be, you learn to mask, you learn to adapt to the, the surroundings, the, the, how people think you should act and how people are going to react to you the, with the way that you're acting. It's, it's called masking and we do it all the time and it's exhausting. To train your brain on how you should react to something. And I didn't think of anything of this except when it came down to funerals and the stuff I was supposed to be sad at. There's there's a lot of things in this world that you know I can't relate to or I, I can't comprehend, but I, I, it doesn't mean that I'm not emotional and I, it doesn't mean that I don't have empathy. I do. It's just there's some times where I don't know how I should act at a funeral. Nobody, nobody knows how you should act at a funeral, you know? It's, are you supposed to wail and, and scream and cry and stuff like that? I mean, the person's gone, like, the, they don't know that you're wailing and screaming. Is it for the people that are around you to show that you have compassion for the person that was lost? Is it, I don't know how to act during a funeral. You know, I know it's not appropriate to, like, take selfies and, and, and make jokes and stuff, but at the same time, laughter is one of my ways of dealing with grief, uh, of coping with things, comedy, laughter, you know, that's one of my love signals, one of my signs of enjoying myself and, and having others enjoy themselves or at least feel more comfortable around me. I used to do magic, you know, not magic the gathering, but like magic tricks, magician. And one thing I found amongst most magicians is that they felt very uninteresting themselves, so they found a talent to show off how interesting they were to other people. Dang it! 
I, I knew that was going to happen. Okay. We're going to have to go back and get the uh, TNT, aren't we? Okay, 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 hold on. We need to drop this down. Because I don't want to don't lose that. Okay, escape, reset, go. <clears throat> that sucks. That sucks. But I'm back to the topic of, uh, of um, clickbaiting. You know, the, the idea behind it and the psychological warfare that marketing is going through. You want people to click on your videos. That's, that's the whole point, you know? But to out and out lie on a thumbnail, I don't feel good about. I don't, I, I don't know what I'm going to do yet for the thumbnail, but it's definitely going to be out of the ordinary for me. So I just, I want to put that out there again. If you clicked on the link or if you clicked on the video because of the thumbnail only, Welcome to my channel. My name's Heath Haskins. I probably will never do that again. I play Roblox. I play video games and I talk. But this is what I do. I, I enjoy coming in here, talking to you, and just telling you my outlook on things like clickbait and things like cash grab videos where they're nothing more than a bunch of advertisements to try and get you to click and spend your time here. But I mean, that's the whole point that's what we want you to do we want you to spend the whole video hanging out with us you know why do you think t-series took over uh, pewdiepie because they had advertisements because they were a multi-networked uh, company conglomerate they're just uh oh wait 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 that's what they do you know you, you might not know. You might be young enough to not know how the psychology of a world works or how advertising, marketing works. And that's fine. I don't expect everyone to, to have the insight or knowledge to marketing techniques and ploys. But at the same time, I also don't expect most marketing majors to understand the interworkings of psychological warfare or psychological um, manipulation. <clears throat> Have you ever heard of anchoring? Anchoring is a huge technique that's used in marketing. And what it is, is they'll have something... Oh, wait, 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 stop, 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 stop. Where do we set to? Okay, that's bad. We don't want that, that's that. We want, we want these uppity up. There we go. And it's time to get a bigger sawmill, just saying. Here, scooch back, please, scooch back. There we go. Um, what was I talking about? Marketing. So when you have a video or you have uh, a commercial that is, oh my gosh, that feels weird. Switch. When you have a video that shows um, a young son going fishing with his grandpa out on the lake and he's like, grandpa, I wish we could fish like this forever. And then the grandpa turns to him like, me too, Billy. You know, and it's like this warm feeling of, of just wholesomeness. And that's when all of a sudden the Dr. Pepper commercial pops in. Dr. Pepper, making lifelong memories. Or something like that. It, it's not Dr. Pepper, but I mean, that's anchoring. They want you to feel one thing and then anchor their product to that feeling that you had. That's how psychology works. That's how the brain works. I mean, it's, it's anchoring. It's psychology, marketing, whatever you want to call it. There's a, there's techniques used like that all the time. Um, elections, elections are notorious for doing stuff like that. Like the, the mud slinging. When was the last time we had an election or any kind of like presidential running that didn't have mudslinging seriously when are we going to have an actual presidency where they were 100 percent honest that's the reason i couldn't run for president because i couldn't smack talk on the other person i mean i, I could but i wouldn't want to there's just there's something in me that says no don't do that you're better than that don't do that that's why i don't click paint and it's with this video in as the exception. So I'm, I'm, I haven't even made the thumbnail yet. 
Like, I hope you guys know that. Like, I'm sitting here right now thinking of how to make the thumbnail. It's not even been created. You've watched it. Like, you've seen it already because you've clicked into the video and you got this far. But I still, I'm literally sitting here. Thank you, Sky Roblox Gaming. I'm literally sitting here nervous about what I'm about to go make. Because I, I know whatever I have in plan, it's definitely going to be clickbaitish. What's up, Luke? Thank you for the subscribe, buddy. Luke Tate. I just, I don't know. I feel different about my YouTube videos. Did you guys really just not saw through there? Do we, do we need to take you over to the other one? Are you too long? You can't be too long. You, you're, you're the right size. Come on, there you go. Good job, buddy. Those little ones we might have to take over to a different place. We're at 21 minutes. I don't expect to actually get all of this chopped up and put through the sawmill. I'll do the best I can for the most that I've got. And then uh, I'll have to do the rest off camera. But I did want to just come in here, talk to you guys about clickbait and, and show you a little social experiment to see what is going to happen with the views. And if the views go soaring out of control just because I made a different thumbnail, then yeah, I will find a different way to do my thumbnails. But I don't think that's going to be the case. People know who I am. They know what I do. And for them to get notification that a new video has come out and then like this completely outrageous thumbnail, they might click on it more. That's not good. That's that's definitely not good. Oh gosh. Please, please let this video do poorly. <laughs> let this video do bad, please. How many, how many comments are, am I gonna have down there about the, the thumbnail? Oh gosh. But hey, again, I'm being completely honest about it. You know, that's that's the big difference. A lot of those are not going to be honest. <clears throat> Now, there is a difference in between being honest and being interesting. For example, what Jack said was on his uh, his car glitch video. My video would read something like new car glitch or new car flinging titles, something like that. Whereas his would say something like flying cars in lumber, question mark, question mark, dot, dot, dot. It would do, do something like that. Well. Technically, it's not a flying car. I mean, it's more of a flinging car. F to, to fly would be controlled. And this isn't flying. It's it, it's a, a fling. It's a throw. It's a... You can't take a rock, pick it up, and throw it and say, Hey, look, that rock is flying. It doesn't... It's falling at an arc. At a first trajectory upward angle or something. But to fly means... It would have some kind of lift, um, maybe some propulsion itself. Like a paper airplane flies because it's suspended by air air molecules as it passes over them and suspends itself in air. That's, that's flying, you know? But I digress. It's a, it's a YouTube world and YouTube's not doing any better about like stopping or regulating what thumbnails are supposed to be, so. Who knows? Maybe, maybe I'll do, instead of doing something like maybe, maybe I'll do Secret of the Candy Cane Axe or something like that. It's, it's got to be something, you know. But then here's the thing: if I do Secret of the Candy Cane Axe, it then becomes cliche and it becomes a, a niche. Like there's that would only relate to people who are getting presented this that want to watch Lumber Tycoon too. Everybody else would be like, that doesn't make sense. But if I were to say something like, David Bazuki raided my house, or David Bazuki called my cell phone, or I got a text from David Bazuki, then it's still, it's, it's narrowed it down to specifics. Roblox, you know? I want to hit something that is going to reach across spans. We're, we're, I'll think of it. I'll think of something. Maybe, maybe it will be a, just a girl or something. On the on the cover, who knows? 
Did I just fling a little bit? Like whenever I hit the thing, did it fly off to the side? I think I saw that. That was crazy. Car glitching even without a car. <laughs> but, again, thank you. Thank you for understanding. Thank you for being here. Um, and thank you for being you. Just sincerely. Even though, like, I know that this thumbnail is going to be completely off topic. It's not going to have anything to do with the actual video itself. Well, actually, hmm. If I literally put a picture or something on there and then I write the word clickbait next to it, would you guys click that? If I literally wrote clickbait? Hmm. Hmm. Well, I am family, family friendly. I've got a younger audience who watches me. But you know what? How do I get that demographic of like 18 to 25 year olds? Where do I, where do I land with them? How do I get them to watch these videos? Get my advice, you know? In a couple of years, I, I won't have to worry about it because anybody that was watching my show as a teenager is going to be turning 18, 25. That's kind of cool. If you were watching me, let's see, what was it, 2016? It's now 2021. Okay, Google. What's 21 minus 16? 21 minus 16 is five. Five years. So if you were... 15, oh, if you were 15 when you saw one of my first videos, that means you are 20 now. So if you were 20 when you were watching my videos, that means you're 25. Congratulations, your insurance has gone down. <laughs> oh man. Who knows? I mean, I just keep doing what I'm doing. 30, 30 minutes of awesomeness every single day. Come in here, relax, and speak my mind, speak my peace. And hopefully help you through a better day. Help give you a little bit of insight into the world of YouTube, the world of gaming, the world around us. What it's like to be a dad. What it's like to be a, a husband or a gamer. <sighs> and I will I will continue to be family friendly. Now I will shout out my other channel, which is Zero Decaf Coffee. And I will absolutely, because I, I didn't used to before. Zero Decaf Coffee is the same YouTuber, unfiltered. No, that doesn't mean that I cuss or anything like that. But I definitely play video games where there's cursing and prevalence inside of it, which I need to warn you. If you aren't accustomed to violence and horror, scariness, then don't watch that channel. But if you're on the older side of the audiences and you want to watch some like more adultish content, that's that's where it's at. I haven't posted anything in a really long time, but I enjoy that channel over there just because it's there, you know. Just so I know, I've got an option. I have the ability to go and, and do something else. Oh, should I go and try and get a play button on that side? Oh, that'd be cool. That'd be cool. Hey, every single subscriber who's ever been subscribed to me, go subscribe over there. Well, with permission, if you're, if you if you can get your parents' permission, if you need your parents' permission, if you don't need the parents' permission, go for it. Go subscribe. Zero decaf coffee. I got a Twitter account on that too. <sighs> well, I'm about ready to go play some Subnautica. We'll we'll keep this wood over here so we can sell it next time. I won't I won't worry about uh selling it this time. Come on, baby. Get in there. Dude, that was that was nice. You guys see that? That was that was crazy. Uh oh, no, I don't need to chop that. I just need to throw it in. There we go. Lots of little pieces left, but all good, all good. Alright. <clears throat> Is it it's twenty nine minutes and thirty seconds. Not bad. Not bad on the timing. Again, how did this video do? Let's check out the uh, analytics here in like 24 hours after after you've done watch this, after it's released and been out for a little bit. How much better did it do just because I did some kind of clickbaitish thing? Should I do more clickbait? Should I do more attractive thumbnails to bring in the, the people so they can see this? You know, maybe a picture of like a brain. Would that be 
something you'd click on or like I've lost my mind code primate exposed I don't know tabloids whatever the case may be thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me Heath Haskins code primate don't forget to like comment subscribe down below do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos like a good youtuber does but it's your choice if you want to go for it if not that's cool too you were here you watched you had fun love you guys for that I love you you're unique you're awesome keep up the awesome comments guys like that seriously I love seeing the comments every single day we'll talk to you soon outro Steven I missed the button the, no the button it's I hit it oh there it is oh try this again outro Want some new merch? Check out teespring.com. Outro.